Good afternoon, America. This is Dr. Turi. And uh, I have uh, kind of a sad news to pass on to you today. Sad enough, it's uh, nothing else than my prediction coming to pass. Still have some problem with my eyes. So because of the bright light, I'm gonna wear my glasses again for a few days. So the newsletter that I wrote today is called Gabby Petito and Brian Landry, Astro Forensic Predictions and Revelations. Well, it is pretty sad. It's pretty shocking also for a lot of people today. The human remains found are consistent with descriptions of Gabby Petito what's the fbi say so another wasted life but again behind all that what really happened now if you think the police the coroners or the medias are going to give you the answers to what it means to be human to what happened to this young lady you're very far off. And that's why you come here, because you know you're going to get it here. You know the full story by now, I believe. And for those who don't, Gabrielle was a 22 year old American woman from uh, Suffolk County in New York. She was reported missing on September 11. Hello, September. 11 2021 she was reported missing while traveling across the united states with her fiance okay now what i'm trying to tell you here and it's not yeah 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 back to you. you're the best no has nothing to do with that if you think i'm on a ego trip here wow well, you got a problem I'm here because I'm pissed off. I'm here because I'm upset. I'm here because this young, beautiful, loving lady is gone. I'm here because she did not know about me. She did not know about the cosmic code. She's like 99.9 .9 of the people on this planet, either atheists or religious fanatics without any conceptions of God cosmic designs. And of course, how he speaks to me through the signs that I constantly divulge through my warning on my YouTube channel using Nostradamus 16th century divine astrology. You know what, my friend? If you look at SOS to the world deadly window for the 11th, or if you look for the SOS to the world deadly window, of the 18th that was today and yesterday, you will see it again that a shocking new took place. I am translating those cosmic winds which produce such news, but there is so much more behind this. And that's where I'm really passionate because I know I've got something that is so damn priceless, yet not everyone out there is sharp, curious, smart enough to digest, understanding, assimilate, and even use my cosmic work. That's why it really pisses me off to be ahead of time and to be sought as negative, fear monger, or lunatic. Because the scientific community and the police feel the ridicule. People like me, and God knows there is so many of you, of us out there. We are smart, we are intuitive, we are blessed with an advanced spiritual UCI. We can see things that normal human beings do not. And for this, we are called cuckoo, idiots, and ridicule. Believe me, my good friend, I have absolutely no joy today pointing out the disappearance of Gabby Petito on the exact date of 9-11 that I gave you well ahead of time. And that include, of course, a premature death. And I repeat myself, 
99.9 and a half percent of the world population is not cosmic conscious and when you're not cosmic conscious you are going to pay the price the ultimate price in her case for this lack of cosmic wisdom but what can you expect from a 22 year old for god's sakes he just pop up in the world 22 years old i'm 72 what can she know? nothing and that's the beauty of being young and innocent but at the same time stupid by not realizing other things that are so important i cannot blame anyone for being innocent i don't want to use the word stupid or moron because some people are too sensitive and they cannot handle you know the end of the truth that i represent they cannot handle the truth so i have to compromise so that i don't hurt their very emotional sensitive nature i understand i'm made of solid rock with the hell i went through and it's because of that hell that i went through that i can see things like that but i'm pissed off because she didn't have time and our people would rather watch all these young people doing all these youtube videos all this TikTok than to gain precious critical wisdom that can save their lives that's what i'm pissed off at because at 72 i'm the father and the grandfathers of many of you listening to me right here right now you know she was young beautiful happy full of life and she shared a short life like i said on youtube okay but I wished, I wished that one day she had to be a little bit more curious, you know, and type the world's astrology and then maybe a pop up because she was ready for me, but she was not. You are, yet, are you gonna throw those golden, priceless, cosmic pearls of wisdom away? Because oh, it's against God, or oh, it can't be. Oh, it's astrology, it's a subtle science. Don't do that. Don't do that. Be smart. Get out of that box. Because what the system and the infected, reptilian infected church ink wants you to know, or even science for that matter, doesn't mean it's real. Doesn't mean it's correct. There's so much manipulation and deception out there. It's insane. Now, <clears throat> when I wrote Ugly Fool, Ugly Faces of Death, Drama, or Surface, okay, in the quatrain, and the keywords enunciate dramatic death news, and the next thing you know, you see this shocking news. When I mentioned cosmic news, cosmos, and it's five. Previously select rich people went took a trip again in the stratosphere all there and wasted the money that should be used to help Mother Earth, a dying Mother Earth for that matter. My good friend, it's just amazing what's going on here. But you know what? How can she not die if she's not aware of the dragon she was born with? I am sure you heard of Princess Diana. I am sure you heard of Steve Irwin, the crocodile I entered. Well, like those two very famous, God bless their soul, now dead people, she had the same shocking, unusual dragon. But <clears throat> all this is just like, Dr. Cherry, how is that going to help me? Well, this is how it's going to help you. This is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try something a little bit different, okay? I am going to bring Gabby's chart, <clears throat> and hopefully, hopefully you should be able to see it, okay? It should be right here, right now in your face. That's called the UCI, or a unique celestial identity. Please pay attention to the cursor because that's your GPS. This is what I use when somebody is facing me on, on my daily, daily uh, uh, guidance to people from all over the world who order a Zoom reading face to face with me. 
Now look at her, Pisces, like me, okay? Emotional, sensitive, creative, a dreamer, a 150% female, very emotional, Pisces. And then she has Mercury in Pisces. You see Mercury, the planet of communication and transportation, close to her sun sign. Okay, she was born with a solar mind. This is how God wanted her to shine through a printed word or a spoken word or through a video. Mercury, the Lord of communication, the messengers of the God. That's what she liked to do. Okay, that is a beautiful position of Mercury in the sign of Pisces. Very emotional, very intuitive, very psychic, very spiritual. Now, Look at that. Move on to the moon sign. Okay. Her moon sign is in her second house of money and in the sign of Aries, which is the baby of the Zodiac. That makes Gabi very competitive, childlike, with an emotion that fires up in a second. Aries, the baby of the Zodiac ruled by Mars, the Lord of War, could that make her extraordinarily competitive and very aggressive when she gets emotionally unstable, knowing that she has such a sensitive Pisces sun sign and such a sensitive Mercury in Pisces. Chances of her firing for anything or being aggressive in scratching the face of a boyfriend, it's more than probable. She did it. Remember the eternal battle between emotions and logic. Emotion will always win and logic will always go through the window. That's what happened. Now look, a Jupiter traveling, teaching, publishing in the second house of money. Okay. She would have been very lucky had she had me doing a reading for her and help her to swim upstream and see the black moon the curse in the sound of death you see mars the ruler of aries you see that mars the lord of war the red planet of blood to represent aggressivity the ancient car of the ram and you can see them in nature bang, 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 banging each other's head mars in scorpio depicting many ways her drive her drive to explore and do anything and everything now, a Venus, which is the planet of love and beauty, is in the sign of Taurus. That's dignified because Venus rules Taurus. Venus in Taurus represents the type of love that woman, Gabby, that baby, was able to offer her boyfriend. A solid Taurus loving, even possessive, artistic, sensual position for love. An everlasting type of love. Now let's look at the house of death, seven. First, let's look how she faces the world. She faces the world as a fussy, picky, critical Virgo. And that's why she likes everything to be clean and organized. Or she was all sitting, you know, pretty much like my wife. She has a very strong Virgo. And then she's very, very much cleaning and cleansing and in detail and natural healing. So she, facing the world as the Virgin Mary, she was very fussy, very picky, and she probably didn't like the mess in the truck that her uh, uh, boyfriend was messing up or stupid things like that. And of course, the argument started during that window when the sign of death and drama rules. Emotion took over and she ended up being killed. That's not, that's a given, but look, that's the most important part of the chart, the tail of the dragon in the sound of Aquarius that makes her independent, eccentric, original, futuristic, friendly, magnetic. Okay, that tail of the dragon is located in the sign of Aquarius. In you see, Nep you see the planet Uranus. Uranus controlled the sign of Aquarius, the sudden release of energy, explosion, nuke, Japan, Nagasaki, Hiroshima. This 
this tail of the dragon received the planet Uranus, making her extraordinarily eccentric and flary, especially with the moon in Aries and supremely emotional Pisces. You see that? That one makes her like a volcano of emotions. And then you see Neptune. Neptune means either she was spiritual, creative, or, or religious, or maybe Neptune means also chemical being used, drugs, parts. I don't know. I'm just pointing out, knowing that Neptune was Pisces, and Pisces is extremely addictive sign. The tail of the dragon. You know, suppose when you have the tail of the dragon, you, if you're not aware of this dragon, you're going to be at the wrong time, at the wrong place, during one of my SOS to the world, deadly window, and you're going to die. She would have no problem jumping out of a plane. She carries with her, even though that she's extraordinarily feminine and very beautiful, she still has a lot of past life as a guy. Okay? Independent and strong-headed and weird and unusual. Now, the tail of the dragon is in the subconscious, which means hidden matter, secrets of the fear, hidden matter. We are going to discover sooner or later how she was killed. Very highly prone of suicides when the tail of the dragon is in the subconscious. Very, very highly proneness of committing suicide, especially if antidepressants or drugs are prescribed by those educated idiots who can only fix the human spirit with destructive cocktail of poison. Medication, antidepressant, perfect for the reptilians to hijack a subconscious. Look at the head of the dragon. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's like me. I'm a, a head of the dragon is in Leo, in the six hours of work and service to the world, which means God wanted her to shine, to build a stage. God made her extraordinarily magnetic. God made her extraordinarily uh, a queen, Leo, the queen of the zodiac. Remember, Leo was France and Italy. That's why we say French are romantic. Le uh, Le Leo, France, or Italy are nations of lovers and artists which affect our language. Mais tu es gentil, je t'aime bien, comment ça? You see how it sounds beautiful, the, the French language? That was a head of the dragon. That beautiful girl should have been acting. Should, he should have been guided towards her head and be on the stage of fame and light. Instead, she cruises the world. She's weird. She's independent. She's strong-headed. She's supremely emotional. Nobody was there to guide her, to make her aware of her legacy, of the scenes of virtue, on how her unique celestial identity was designed. Mars in Scorpio, my gosh, this is the type of man that would fit her well or the type of man that she would attract. Somebody who has a very strong Scorpio, but Scorpio is all has a stinger, death, drama, the, 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 the police force, the FBI, the CIA, the criminal element. And look, look again, look the curse, the black moon in Scorpio, all in the house, in the ninth house, which is in the wild, in the desert, in the Grand Canyon, or wherever she was hanging in Yosemite, the, the wild and the ninth house. The drive to travel is very strong. Well, all I can tell you, all I can tell you that she also had such a, the great Malefic affecting her mind. She didn't have, she had a problem with security. You see that she was looking more like a father figure to take care of her. Saturn in the sign of Taurus in the mind produced a heavy, heavy depression and instability. The last thing that she actually needed was any form of antidepressant. And then maybe she was classified at OCD, okay? cleansing, cleaning nonstop, natural healing, turning into vegetarian. God knows what. The OCD is very real and it's very strong. And nobody was there to guide that little girl. You know what? Once I get the date of birth of a boyfriend, I am going to put Is UCI on the Cosmic Code website. 
But again, it is only to those who ask, to those who are spiritually inclined, to those who are spiritually advanced enough, to those who are curious to gather the golden keys to what it means to be human and to find out when I combine both of their stars together, what happened during my SOS to the world, the deadly window of uh, September the 11th. Okay. I will be able to point out his stars and her stars and see where they were friends and where they were enemy and what really transpired. The only thing I worry about this kid, it's he may be so desperate that he might just end his life. He's hiding, that's not good. He's running away. The guilt, the drama, the trauma that he had, that he went through by killing somebody that he really loved. I repeat myself, my friends, you know, in the eternal battle between emotions and logic, emotion always win. You can be very practical, very logical. Okay. Sometime something will click, something will happen to drive your girlfriend insane. Emotions are going to run all the way up, or your wife for that matter, or your sister. Okay. And then you're going to turn into a devil you're going to turn into a tiger you're going to turn into a killer it is not you it's the reptilians which are using those cosmic winds that turn her into a maniac on that day and they start to fight and the story did not finish when the cops left remember this energy was the police and those kids were stopped by the police, but the police is not educated. The police does not know about the plutonic windows. So they did not know that they could have saved that little girl's life by saying, okay, you are coming with us and you go your way. Instead, they let them go and he killed her. My good friend, if you think traditional psychology, or psychiatry or neuroscience for that matter, are gonna help you to understand what's going on in your head. When they ridicule extraterrestrials and the impacts imposed by those nasty reptilians or the good draconis, if you did not yet do it, go to my website, drturi.com. The first thing you're going to see is my UFO movie, click on it listen to it and understand that those entities are part of your psychical, psychical makeup. They're already in your head. And if the winds are going the right way for them, which means supremely emotional day, the same type of day that that created the invasion of the US Capitol and all these crazy people that kill everybody during those windows is repetitive. And it produces earthquakes and it produces dramatic news, which I don't want to go through them all because they already collected in those newsletters. All I wanted to do today is to tell you how pissed off I'm upset and how sad I am because I was not able to reach a 22 year old. And what's even more interesting is she probably had much more followers than I could ever have. Not telling you what the reptilians wants you to do. They want you to be entertained. They want you to be deceived. They want you to be religious or atheist. They don't want you to bypass the box. And they want to control your body, your mind, your thoughts, your soul, until they hijack you and you become part now of the darkness forever. You have killed somebody. You killed yourself. You've signed up your soul to the devil and you don't know. And you, just like this, it can happen during my SOS to the world, shocking or deadly windows. And for that, I get some people that say, I'm a cuckoo. I'm a fear monger. I'm a lunatic. Yeah. Sad. Sad to see where we're at. Very good friend. Sad. When these millions, billions of dollars are wasted for those previous select suckers who have too much time and too much money to take a trip 50 miles above the earth, that money should be coming to me. So I can, I can start my schools and stop this nightmare of ignorance that kill people nonstop. 
They get the kids to commit suicide nonstop, to get those school shooting, endless school shooting that will never stop until someone like me, all my students, get to heal those souls and make them understand their relationship with God, cosmic design, and realize Jesus' cosmic ministry, which has nothing to do with the Bible. We came up three or four hundred years after Jesus, the Savior's birth. My God, Google Dr. Cherry Pop Francis, for God's sake. See the pictures of the popes being taught astrology by the Vatican Council. See the pictures of the pope being enthroned under the sign of Leo. See the pictures of the dragon and all the sign all about the freaking Vatican. Realize that the Dead Sea Scrolls are loaded with astrological relics and UFOs. I'm 72 years old. Do you think I don't have anything better to do than to make up stories about UFOs if I didn't go through this? My God, open up. Open up to the divine. Open up to the impossible, the incredible, because it is real. It is part of our universal conception. Well, Again, I don't want to be too emotional. All I'm asking you to do is please, please share my newsletter because maybe a friend of Gabby who knows a family is looking for answers, closure. They can do it if you are getting that link and then post it, share it because they're never going to get the answers with the coroner or the police reports. The spiritual answers they need will never be there. They're here. If I can grab you, if I can make you feel, if I can make you react to my work and you have nothing to do with Gabby, imagine if Gabby was your child, your sister or your friend, how would you feel knowing these things? Question remain. The question remain. How many of you knows what type of dragon you were born with? How many of you have the drive to read the 600 page book called The Power of the Dragon? Or Beyond the Secret, which explained the power of the superconscious in Thomas space. Remember my friend, knowledge is power and ignorance is evil. And this is why I am here. And that's why you are here because you know See that little voice here? That little voice will never lie to you. You know I got something that's real. Now just be part of the solution, please. Help me pass it on. Sign my petition. You have the link. You have the link on my newsletter. Go and read the newsletter. Now I'm at the end of this, right? Click on the link. Yes, Dr. Cherry. I like your work. I want to be part of the light. I want to be part of the future. I want to work with the draconis and the new age, the new age of love and light. Well, this type of dramatic, deadly news will be the story of the past. Well, wars will be a story of the past. Well, we'll be living in the, the blessing age of love and light, the age of Aquarius. Well, that's what I have for you today, my good friends. God bless Gabby's soul. And God bless the family. Not the rest of life. All right. Let's see you again. Bye-bye.